Hello again, friends. As you know, we're working on a special project. Can't say anything more. It's a real Oppenheimer situation. But we want to pre-record some great content for you. Mm. And boy, oh boy, did PJ come up with a good one here. This is competitions slash sports that are considered, at least by our standards, very weird. All right. Now, I will say, we personally do not know what clips we're about to see. Mm -mm. Okay, so we are watching this for the first time, like you guys are. Am I a little bit worried? I don't know, maybe a little bit, maybe a tad. But let's go ahead and roll the first one. Make sure you subscribe. This ought to be fun. What is this? This is pig howling, gotta be. No way. Play calling it. in the pigs. Husband calling. Husband calling? No, play it. Irving! Irving! Unless you wanna make the bed, you better get up like right now. Would you like to hear me call my husband? What am I supposed to call him? You low down, Roger, Daryl, Eichelberg, you low down, sinky, manure covered, farmer tanned. Oh, I'm supposed to call him for dinner. Daryl! Daryl, dinner's ready. Daryl! No. Daryl, no. Daryl! Oh, God, we're divorced. No, nah, and that got. Me, my, my We're divorced. got second place. Can you hear me? You get yourself in here right now. Oh, oh Grandma? Oh, it's just a conjurer? Grandma? You know you're going to be late again. She's climbing on the ceiling. you know that I want to get there on time. Roy? Roy, 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 Roy! Oh, dude, that's tough. <clears throat> what? First off. How'd y'all find that? <laughs> first off. Husband um, calling. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. Look, when, when, my, when my middle name gets, well, when Reed says Jacob, when she says that, I, you know, I know I need to come down, you know. But sometimes, don't you just? Does your wife ever do this where she like, she like, say your name like loudly, like it's an emergency, and you run downstairs, and she's like, "Hey, look at my toenails." No, no, no. If, if if my name got called like that, someone no, died. not like that. Someone's dying. Yeah, yeah. you know, I'm headed down to check on the kids. Yeah, no, I, that's look, insane. Yeah, yeah. that second lady yelled out like that. Mm mm. Husband Not even calling. Close. Yeah, it was gonna be the last time your husband called. <laughs> Would you say one of them was on the ceiling? <laughs> yeah, the last was was the that's what I'm saying. Like she was, didn't she star in Legion? Yeah, the that's movie? the movie right there. Yeah, you take a shotgun to her. It's the only way to get rid of her. Just split into two. And next thing you know, there's five of them running around your house. All right. <laughs> All right. What's the next one? Extreme ironing in water. This man is on a surfboard and he's ironing. Play the clip. No way. This is an act. This is what happens We're when, so bored. when you get super bored. This is what happens. There you go. Of course, a woman would not to do it. Save our gracious dreams. No way. Okay. We have too much time on our hands. Okay. And you wonder why the aliens won't talk. Oh, they won't you. talk to us. You wonder why they won't talk to us. They've probably been halfway down. Like, you know what? All right, hey, we're going to talk to them. We're gonna give them higher enlightenment. And you know, they're not gonna have to fly planes anymore. We'll help them teleport. And then they watch that and they turn right back. They're like, they're not ready. If our ancestors saw that, they would just slap us. They would. They'd slap us right in the face. Thomas Jefferson just rolling over in his grave. Mm. Who went big on extreme ironing? You read his biography, he talks all about it. Guys, before we continue, I mean, it's, I, I gotta talk about Black Rifle. All right, coffee's the lifeblood. Okay, when they, if, if, you know how when they like get a shark, they thought ate somebody and they cut him open, and it's like a, tire and a license plate. If they cut me up and just be Black Rifle Coffee. Because <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what I have to have. And they have great, again, there's a lot of different coffees out there. Mm -hmm. But it's smooth, whether it's Power Llama, whether it's Gunship, all right? The, horse, the Headless Horseman's Roast, which I believe is Conathan's favorite. They've got great variety. And in case you don't have time to brew coffee, I get it. Everybody's in a hurry. They have their Black Rifle Coffees ready to drink cans. 200 milligrams of caffeine. Look, it's a veteran-founded coffee, coffee company, and every time you make a purchase here, right, they give back. They honor the men and women who serve this country. So stop running out of coffee and sign up for a Coffee Club subscription. David, your favorite, as I mentioned, is the Headless Horseman's Roast. Uh, I like the Irish? Headless Horseman's Roast. I like the Fool's Gold. I like Gunship. I like Silencer Smooth, Power Llama, Lava Panther, Just Black, Beyond Black. Mm. Uh, all the rest of them. Nice. What about you? Well, <laughs> called Cone's Combo. <laughs> 
great. I'm a big vanilla bomb guy. That is true. And the caramel vanilla, please, all over me. I love it. <laughs> Save money and drink America's coffee. Go to blackrifflecoffee.com. Use our promo code booster. That's B-O-O-S-T-E-R. And check out for 10% off your one-time purchase or first coffee club order. That's blackriflecoffee.com. Promo code booster for 10% off. You can find it in grocery and convenience stores near you. But head on over to blackriflecoffee.com. Black Rifle Coffee, America's coffee. All right, what's the next one? That's crack. Okay. Why aren't they flying? This. Okay, they're trying to make this look as cool as possible. Um. So mogul footage. Yes. This is a. Uh, okay. My thing is this. Okay, if we're gonna play Quidditch, I need you in the air. Okay, and I don't know how. Maybe they're wearing jetpacks or whatever, but that's not Quidditch to me. That's you running around with the broom, throwing a ball. Now, now I've seen this before. Okay, at South on the intramural field, I think it's Saturday morning, something like that. We go down there and they have the Quidditch thing set up, and you know you'd have a bunch of people down there playing Quidditch. Not me. I drove right past and went up to the mm. football. Mm. Well, I heard you no. were there. No, no, no. no. Never Heard you knew Quidditch. all about it. I'm not playing Quidditch unless I'm flying through the air. Now, I do want to say, it's kind of like that time, you remember when we were living in the apartment when we first came up here and we drove by that morning and they were having lore out there and like I yeah. definitely remember the that. two sides were yeah. running toward each other to start the battle? Mm -hmm. I almost wrecked the car. I definitely remember that. I'd rather see that than Quidditch. I would too. 100%. I'm now like, I'm going to hook up with less females now throughout my life because I had to watch that. So <laughs> what does that have to do? We're now gayer individually. Why, what's with the broom? Exactly. If you're not going to fly, which yeah, you it's the whole why like, are you running with like without like the broom? A fake horse. I get it. Look, if I you're going to rock the broom, the, it's if, basically water polo without the water. Yeah, if you if you're going to if you're going to rock the Nimbus 3000, like I want you in the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Strap a jetpack on them, okay? And let's find out who can really make moves. Yes. All right? And why are men and women playing against each other? Did but, you see him just totally fake that girl out? The advantage. Co-ed Quidditch? Co-ed Quidditch is co -ed Quidditch. BS. Quidditch. No one takes it serious enough to take to separate genders. They don't have enough people, I don't think, to yeah. form their own teams. Well, I mean, co-ed. I can understand that. You know, I don't like it, and I don't accept it, but I can understand why you'd say that. What's the next one? The next one is Redneck Games. So this is a compilation of it. some of the games that they How do. drunk is everybody here? Yeah. Hey, what LSU game is this? Best Mud Pit Belly Flop. Here we go. Come on, big boy. Get, Get in there. There we go. Get in there now. Yes, yes, sir. Get in there. Roll yes. around. Make some noises. Go. Come on now. Come on. What is this? Grabbing chicken? Bobbing for pig legs. Get in there. Pulling out as many pig feet. Oh. As it's as got as Arkansas possible. written all over it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It's so look, we're from Alabama. Like we got no room to talk. Do you see that one guy? With toilet seats. <laughs> look. <laughs> really? Um, the seats are tossed at plungers. <laughs> okay. Which one are we going to use? Plungers. I don't know. What are we going? Arm farts. I tell you what, when I was a little kid, those are cool things you could do. Yeah, it was. You see the guy behind him? He's, he's enjoying that way too much. Yeah. Here's what I want to say. He's okay, look, I'm all for a good rodeo. I'm all for yeah. a good redneck. Hanging out at the lake. But there's levels to it. This is why everybody thinks people from the South are stupid. Mm, okay? It is. Okay? We're from, you're from Georgia. We're both from Alabama. We have a great time. We got a little redneck in us. Yeah. I'll be the first one to admit that. Yeah. But not that. I'm not looking like Farmer Fran from throwing, the water, boy. I'm not throwing, I'm not throwing, toilet, I'm not throwing, throwing toilet seats at things. I love going to Baton Rouge as much as the next guy. Yeah. All right? But I, the horseshoes work just fine. And I don't need to be bobbing for pig's feet. Why don't you just bob for apples, man? You know what I'm saying? Why bob for you... beers. Bob for beers. Bob for Not beer. Bud Lights, but Bob for beers. Bob for beers. Wear a wife beater like a normal, like a normal country. Exactly. Yeah, it's it, exactly. but but there is it, there is, and I don't want to give away the secrets. But being from the South and having other people think you're stupid is like the greatest deception of all time. That's fine. You want us, we want you to, oh, hey, I'm from Alabama, I'm new at the company. All of a sudden, oh, is this guy? I'm not worried about this guy. All of a sudden, he's a CEO in six months. Wow, CEO? Yeah, that's exactly right. Guy invented uh, Twizzlers. And won the mud diving contest. That's exactly right. Dual threat, that's what I call it. All right, what's the next one? So you've heard of thumb wrestling, but have you heard of toe wrestling? Nope, don't want to watch it. Toe Get it off wrestling? Yeah, just play it. Players intertwine their toes and try to edge their opponent's foot to one side. 
This this year's men's winner, as any toe wrestling fan would have guessed, he's was wearing a Alan cape. Nasty Nash. Um, so that just happened. Six months. So we won't. We six won't, months in jail. Six months. Six yeah. months in jail. Six months. We won't institute Operation Pedidexterity to get better at soccer, but y'all be out here wrestling with your toes. Yeah. Um. Who who came up with this? That's what I want to know. I, I need I need to know the source here. Man. I need to see the the matrix architect of of this. Some people shouldn't be allowed to reproduce. Well, it just like that's harsh. To it's me, the truth, I'm, Dave. I'm, look, a that's thumb harsh. war, thumb war. Man, let's get it. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight. I'll win. Just you wait. But toe war, and it's not even like I'm gonna put my toe on top of your other toe, which that sucks too. But I mean, guys, we not. We could be out there curing, curing cancer, solving oh. world hunger. I don't think those guys are going to do it. Some people. But if some genius scientist, you know, could, is out there doing toe wrestling instead of trying to, you know, cure some disease, costs all of us. I don't think there is. <laughs> I don't think there's a genius. I don't know. It's 2023, man. It's 2023. Did you see that video? Yeah. The you think they're genius scientists? Nasty Nash. Yeah, yeah. they probably know how to play Connect Four, and it's literally it says it in the title exactly. of the game. It's of like, how to play it. The instructions are just the name hey, of the man, game. Man, it don't make sense. Prefit it. Don't make sense. Oh, what is this? So this last one is wife carrying, which originated in Finland in 1992. So, oh, underwater. Let's go. Let's go. You gotta get there. You gotta earn it. You gotta earn it to burn it. I thought that was Mark Sanchez. <laughs> oh, this is like a whole course, man. This one makes more sense. Like, yeah, like a, build a little character in the relationship, you know? For sure. No, nothing builds character. This is the only way, the easiest way to tell your wife she needs to lose weight. It is. <laughs> we finished second because I was carrying a monster. Should have ate that lasagna for lunch, fatty. <laughs> Oh, now you gotta clear. You gotta clear a wall here. Finish line and collapse, and collapse. That. Uh, if you're even breathing slightly heavy after that, you're gonna get criticized. No, look. Like, here's here's the thing. It's, it's 2020. Here's the thing. All right. One equal between men and women. Where's husband carry? Husband carry. That's the back nine. They didn't show the guy. Yeah. The, the guy all the way in the back, whose wife made him do. She's like 270. He's out yeah, there. Yeah. He's like, I'm not trying to pick her. I'm not. I'm not carrying. Make this look stupid, I'm, Dale. I'm not carrying a late second round picket guard down the, <laughs> down the combine. There's no minimum weight limit for the female uh, What? Uh, no you know minimum. He's super skinny no too, right? Oh, for limit. sure. She's like 400. He looks like the skinny guy. Skinny. Wait, is there yeah. a maximum off road trip? Is there a maximum weight limit? It doesn't say. Like who's, but, but again, where's husband carry? The world set a weight limit of 108 pounds. 108 pounds. Man. You have to be legally married. Uh, okay. I was, I was, 108 pounds, doable. Yeah, that's, doable. so the minimum, flying, is, you said the min, minimum is 108 pounds? No, the world set a weight limit of 108 pounds. The and world? And belts are used to make up any world difference did it? in The world, world did it? Who represents the world? <laughs> the world's, uh, world's, like world's competition. Wait, they have a world's competition for carrying your wife? For wife carrying, yes. I thought that was every relationship. I thought that was, <laughs> you stole my joke. Oh, my bad, sorry. That was a good one. Wow. Uh, very interesting. We need to do that again. What was your? Was that all of them? Yes. What was your favorites? My favorite? Yes. Like my favorite is the one I thought was the dumbest, or like one I actually liked. Whatever floats your boat, bud. Uh, the one I thought was the dumbest was the the redneck horseshoes with the toilet seats. I mean, gross. Um, I would say the weirdest was the toe. The toe one? Yeah. Are you going to name them all, or are you just going to name, like, one? I already forgot most of them. I'm going to be honest with you, because I've tried to wipe those from my memory. But, yeah, the toe one just keeps yeah, the toe just keeps popping up. That guy had, like, like, a yellow spot on his foot. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even want to. Looks like the starter. I don't think the wife carrying is that, that bad. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. The yeah, wife, wife carrying is not that bad. I mean, that's, that's cool. look, you, we all bear our races. Like, to me, I'm like, all right, we do that. Then we go to the egg relay, you know, where you pass the egg over and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. The spoon in your, the spoon in your mouth? With the egg on it? Blaine, what you do on Friday nights doesn't need to be. It's Thursday nights right and you're invited. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. Tell us uh, which one was your favorite, which one was the dumbest, and which ones did we miss? Appreciate you.